Good morning. It's uh, Mother's Day. It's um, Sunday. I'm going to uh, go down to the storage units. If they aren't double locked, which they probably aren't, I'm going to um, try to take the uh, valve cover off the Jeep so I can process it and I'll put a new uh, valve cover on the um, a new uh, gasket on the valve cover um, and I'll paint the valve cover while the uh, storage is double locked which I expect to happen tomorrow so that's today's plan well, I'm up at the processing unit right now. I'm relaxing, taking some lunch, a lunch break. Got myself some Kentucky Fried Chicken, some music. Life is good right now. All right, I'm here at the uh, Jeep garage. This is the Jeep engine. What I'm gonna try to do is pull that valve cover off so I can work on that while um, the Rounders are double locked. Well, that's got to be the cheesiest valve cover I've ever seen. You can see inside the um, rockers and everything look pretty darn good, actually. Looks like this engine's been well cared for, which I pretty much figured it was. There's some minor stuff like that's broken. What I'm going to just do is, uh, actually, this is a um, solid color. I'll probably just clean this up. I'm not sure what the normal Jeep colors are. I'd like to paint the side of the engine that I can that's exposed before putting all this back together. Looks like somebody had a light blue coating on the uh, aluminum intake. I'll probably just take the aluminum intake off and just clean it up and clear coat it with a uh, high temperature clear coat. And then uh, start putting this all back together again. <clears throat> anyway, um, if I can find a bucket, I had to go home get my hands cleaned up. They're all messed up. Then go uh, if I can get a bucket, I'll uh, drain the coolant lines. As you can see, there's two coolant lines going into the intake, so I have to drain the coolant down before. I'm attaching the, uh, detaching the, um, intake. But I'd like to take this intake with me, too, before the day is out. So, uh, look for a bucket in my storage units. And if I can't find one here, I'll have to go buy one. Well, I couldn't find the, um, any buckets. So I'm off to Lowe's. I have a little bit of credit on Lowe's. I'll buy a bucket or um, some kind of fish pan or something to catch that antifreeze at Lowe's. Alright, I just left Lowe's. I got this pan for $4.96. That should do pretty good. I gotta make this quick because I gotta refrigerate this chicken at some point before that gets screwed up. What's left of the chicken. Uh, Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Go quick yank that manifold and then go. Alright, that's working pretty good. It's in my $5 container. I pulled the pet cock out. Which is just really just a plastic piece of junk. I'm going to loosen the radiator cap. And that, that should make it come out faster. <sighs> Okay, perfect. Looks like I had good read. Cherry did. Good radiator fluid in there. There we go. Now it's cooking. I'm going to drain that out and then I'll pull these, those uh, hoses off the intake. Alright, I took the clamp right off of the intake. It still doesn't want to go. I don't know if any of you guys working on cars ever had that. Simple matter, you just loosen the pliers so that when they're closed, they're at their loosest spot. And uh, just break it loose. There, it's loose now. Now all they can do is just pull it off. Should pull right off. 
I gotta use two hands, so I gotta shut the camera. Right, I snug the um, clamp up on the hose, so it won't get lost. And I just push the hose up there out of the way. Well, as you can see down there, I made a mess anyway. But I got these hoses off, and the part of the carburetor apparently fell in that pile of junk. I don't know what, you know, the vacuum gauges or whatever. I'm going to just throw a little speedy dry under there to take care of that. The only other problem I have up here is some fell into the into a little recess. But it doesn't look like it's going to... This is a... This uh, grades down, so it doesn't look like any uh, moisture will get inside the motor, which would be problematic. Because if... if uh, <laughs> Um, alcohol or water-based crap gets into your motor, it causes rust, which causes engine seizing and scoring and all kinds of problems. So that's not something you want at all. And antifreeze has um, ethylene glycol in it, which is no good for anything, except for keeping the cold weather out. That's about it. So, that's deadly poison. Anyway, here's the um, intake. So I got the intake and the uh, exhaust manifold and the uh, uh, valve cover. So I got a lot of work. I got a lot of stuff I can work on in here. So. I gotta get that chicken back to the refrigerator. First, I gotta throw some cat, some of that, uh, not cat litter. It looks like cat litter, but it's called Speedy Dry, which, of course, I have in another garage, not this one. I'll throw that under the, uh, under this. And I'll just leave this just like that, and it can just drip for a while, and then I'll, uh, repackage it and screen it and reuse that, uh, Antifreeze, it's a good looking antifreeze, it almost looks pure. And that's expensive. Okay, I went to the processing unit. I filled this pirouette can with, with some uh, Speedy Dry. And, uh, I'll go back to the other unit. No, I spread some of that, uh, um, Speedy Dry different areas. It's actually some kind of leakage is coming from the next door neighbors. I don't even know what the heck it is. So I uh, threw a little on that. And I threw the, most of it under here. I don't know if you can see. And uh, that'll soak that up. So everything's pretty much raptor here at this point. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, wrap up the, close close it up and go. And it's probably going to get double locked tomorrow, which really stinks, but it is what it is. I don't see anything else I'm going to that's critical. But you never know. It's always something. Back home, looks like George showed back up from wherever he was. Started mowing the lawn. Not the best job, but it's cut. I guess it's legal. Well, today went pretty fast. Um, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Um, we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Have a good night.